The Chancellor is, of course, in Washington at the moment for a meeting of global finance ministers where the government received something of a rebuke from the head of the International Monetary Fund. Speaking to reporters, Kristalina Georgieva appeared to welcome a potential U-turn on that mini-budget. Our message to everybody, not, not just to the UK, to everybody is, at this time, fiscal policy should not undermine monetary policy because... If it does it, then the task of monetary policy becomes only harder and it translates into the necessity for even further increase of rates and tightening uh, financial uh, conditions. So don't prolong the pain. Uh, make sure that actions are, are coherent and consistent. Uh, and uh, I do believe that um, uh, it is... Uh, correct to be led by evidence. So if the evidence is that there has to be a recalibration, uh, it is right for governments uh, to do so. Let's talk to our US correspondent, Mark Stone, in Washington. So, uh, Mark, the uh, managing director there of the IMF implicitly saying to the UK, is it uh, get your act together? Yeah, I mean, I mean the beginning of what she, what she was saying there, uh, she made a point of, of stressing that she was referencing everyone, talking to uh, the world's uh, economies. Uh, but at the end, it was a clear reference to potential U-turns uh, in the UK. And it's, to, to be honest, she was addressing questions from British journalists. I was struck that uh, as the, uh, the, the man who was hosting the news conference went around the room, he took one question from a journalist representing the Middle East, one question from a journalist representing Africa and so on, but then three questions from journalists representing uh, the UK. Uh, and that was because um, there are no two ways about it. The, the, uh, the unease with which people are watching what's going on in the UK cannot be underestimated here. Uh, they are keen to discover what's happening, what Liz Truss's plan is, uh, and to that end, um, they, they want to know more. Uh, and they're not getting it, certainly from the Chancellor, because at a key meeting today, uh, at the uh, G20 finance ministers' meeting, at which the uh, heads of the banks of all the G20 countries were present as well, Kwasi Kwarteng was not. Uh, he chose to, to attend other meetings or needed to attend other meetings instead. We're not quite clear what meetings those were. Andrew Bailey is the governor of the Bank of England. He was in the meeting. Uh, I caught up with him uh, very briefly afterwards. Uh, here's what he said. Sorry, um, how was the meeting? Oh, Any reason why the Chancellor wasn't there? No. That's a question for the Chancellor. Oh, and we're high. Halle. So, we'll see you later. Yeah? Would it have been helpful if the Chancellor was there, Governor? The context, the wider context to all this, uh, of course, aside from, uh, from, from nations around the world keen to understand the British government thinking uh, on, their, on their economic plans, the wider context is a, a global economy that's in a really bad way. And I think the chief executive of the uh, International Monetary Fund, she really outlined that. The pandemic, Ukraine, climate, the cost of living, a perfect storm, she said, uh, cost uh, the growth forecast cut to 2.7% uh, and a 25% chance that global growth could drop, drop below 2% uh, in the next year. One phrase, though, in her opening remarks stuck out to me, and I think it was a phrase directed at the UK. She said, a complex, ti complex time like this requires steady hands on the policy levers. I, I asked her uh, whether she believed the UK government's uh, hands were steady. She declined to answer. OK, Mark Stone in Washington, thank you.